Hello everyone, it's James Chamberlain and today I'll once again finally be checking out a game again. I absolutely love checking out new games on Roblox and playing them for the first time here with you guys in a video and today we're going to be checking out Southwest Florida. It sounds like it's a driving game similar to the likes of Vehicle Simulator Ultimate Driving or I would say based on these pictures you'll see in a minute more so like Greenville. But anyway guys, I just love checking out games. And let's go ahead and first of all take a look at the game page so that you guys know what we're getting into. Alrighty folks, so here we are on the game page and as you can see right here it says Southwest Florida and the game is still in the beta stage of development. So it's not fully finalized a lot. So we're still checking out a fairly new game here. And it sounds like this is pretty much just an update log right here at the beginning of the description. It's actually quite a popular game with 6,007 people playing it right now. And a lot of favorites and visits as well. Anyway, it sounds pretty cool. There's a lot of information here. So let's go ahead and check out the game. The game is loading. I hear some intro music right now. And let's go ahead and see what this is like. Wow, this is a pretty cool animated intro they've got here. I'm liking this. Southwest Florida. All right, so let's just go ahead and first of all hit play to get started with here. Let's look around and see here. I'm guessing we'd go right here to purchase a car. And let's see, we've got classic. A lot of different things here that we can pick, but it looks like this isn't actually the store briefcase maybe these are all the jobs wow they have a lot of a lot of different jobs here. I especially love a dip in donuts pretty funny right off the bat I've noticed that in addition to great optimization I'm really liking the look here of these large logos that kind of point to you and kind of are a beacon for where things are I really like that all right we seriously need to figure out how to actually purchase a vehicle here so it wouldn't be in the cash store it doesn't appear to be in here Hmm, in jobs it doesn't seem to be so the first thing I need to do is figure out how to actually pick a vehicle and purchase it because I have 125,000 right now so I should be able to purchase something pretty decent here I'm guessing we may actually have to go to a dealership so let's see if we can get a job at the dealership and see if there's a way of cheating and getting there faster all right so next to the dealership McBloxer seems to be the closest I'm guessing that's like McDonald's so let's go ahead and get us a job at McDonald's all right, there we go. We got our job at Mickey D's. Yeah, this is totally McDonald's. Wow, this is totally Mickey D's right here. Pretty cool. I see we just got a nice Lamborghini Huracan. I believe this is the Perfomonte. Yeah, this is a Huracan Perfomonte just sitting out here in front of Mickey D's. But where is the dealership? That's supposed to be fairly nearby. So far, I already have to say I haven't even gotten a car yet and I'm already enjoying this game. And I think it's definitely something that will be the subject of future content here on the channel. There's the dealership right across the street. All right, here we go. Finally, actually almost to the dealership. Right out here in the front, I'm seeing some Ram Rebel trucks. Definitely quite neat. Of course, they're unbranded because of copyright issues. Looks like we've got a Range Rover right there. Pretty cool. Let's take a look inside though. No idea what the cops are doing here. Hopefully something didn't just happen here. Here we are at Sparrow Motorsports. And I'm guessing, I don't actually know how you purchase a vehicle. What I do know is the siren's getting really annoying. Is it here? Here it is in the green box. I, I was so dumb. But all right, here we are. What I do really like right off the bat here is that it gives you horsepower and torque specifications as well as drivetrain and weight specifications immediately right here. As you can see, this has 622 horsepower, 669 foot-pounds. That's a lot of torque right there. And it weighs 5,380 pounds. I've got to now decide what I want to get. Oh, this is a beast right here. 700 foot-pounds of torque and 840 horsepower. That'll get you going fast. Mustang GT, though, I've got to say, I would not mind the Mustang GT. That seems like quite a nice vehicle right there. And this is only under coupe as well, so there are a lot more options here. Hatchback, I don't think I'm buying a hatchback. 2021, this will be a Ford Bronco. And the Bronco seems pretty cool. I would love to get a Bronco. That might be worth considering on a Passport. Pretty much all your basic SUVs in here. They've got the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. 
And I don't think I've seen any Roblox games with the colon in, so that's pretty cool that that's included. I love how the renaming of all the vehicles is so subtle. Things like Fard instead of Ford, things like that, Honda instead of Honda. Just very, very basic name changes so you can still really tell what you're getting. They've got the Bentega as well. That's definitely a nice luxury SUV. I really am liking the vehicle choices included in here. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's gonna definitely be the Nissan GTR because, I mean, this is just a great deal right here. Let's be real, guys. This is a great deal for a good supercar right there. So, I think I'm gonna get the GTR. All right, here we go. Let's buy it right now. There we go. I've just bought a Nissan GTR. All righty, let's spawn out our GTR. So, we're gonna be under supercar for that right there. And let's grab the GTR and let's go ahead and spawn it right there. Not hearing much of a startup. Press F to turn on. That's a good sounding startup. That's accurate. C for turn signals. Pretty basic Roblox card game controls. These are just like the controls you would see in Greenville. Alright, let's go ahead and pull onto the main street and you see how well this GTR here drives. This is definitely a supercar right here. Whoa, we are already speeding. I'm liking this game and I am liking this GTR. It's definitely a very sweet ride. It looks great. It's super, super good looking. I've always liked the way the GTR looked. Looks like we're pulling in right next to a Hummer electric right there. Let's see if he'll go ahead and get out of my way for a minute. Dang, it is loud in here. What's going on right here? This doesn't look too good. Okay, somebody is robbing this place. Wow. I just want to steal their Hummer. Is that even possible? No, unfortunately it's not. Let's keep looking around though. Alright, that guy just totally cut me off there. That cop does not know how to drive. So how are we making money? Because I haven't seen my money going up. So I don't think you make money by driving. Looks like we just joined a new place called Bonita Beach. Let's figure out where that is. I do honestly like this map. And I have a feeling it's a pretty large map. Like thanks to these different areas. I have a feeling this map is bigger than I initially thought. I love the turn signal sound. So realistic. Dang, the GTR looks good with the lights on. It looks really good. Alright, looks like we've got some large, large buildings here. Let's take a look at what they are. I'm really liking these roads and the way the buildings are and the way the parking lot for buildings are. It is so accurate as to how you'd expect a city to be. Unlike so many Roblox games. And these are all real people. How many people are in the server? Dang, a fair amount of people are in this server. I mean, it's not too bad. It's a fairly large server. Okay, there's a condo. So, how can we buy this? I basically just sat up here and I'm in the, the area where the, like, the people that run the place would be. But let's see if I can go up in an elevator and rent a condo or not. And let's do 7th floor. I can tell that the game isn't done yet. You can tell things like this aren't fully detailed. But the roads are spot on. Here are the actual condos. These aren't looking too bad. Let's see if we can buy this or not. Have I just claimed this? Yes, I have. Nice. I'm not one for the city life, but nonetheless, it's a pretty nice condo to live in, I must say. What's in here? I don't know what this room is. Oh, this is the master, it looks like. So this should be master bathroom. And then this would be the master closet, which I guess we can't really open up. And we've got a balcony overlooks this. I really don't like how it's this great here, to be honest, though. It's just kind of in the way. I would like to be able to jump off the building and get into my car, because this is Roblox, after all. Is there going to be another bedroom? Oh, this is my bedroom as well? So I have two of these master bedrooms, it looks like. 
I don't understand why we need an Apple Mac Mini right here when there's literally an iMac display right there, but I guess for some reason you do. I guess but there's no display for the Mac Mini, and if this is an iMac, then it's an all-in-one. So it's kind of pointless to have the Mini there. And what's the deal with all these MacBooks here? There's one here, there's another one over here, there's a Mac Mini on iMac. It really tells you what platform the developer of the game prefers. Alright, let's head out of our apartment and check out more of the map before I end off the video. Alright, let's reach some speed. For a speed limit 25, this is excessively fast. Oh, I almost hit somebody. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, guys, you can spin out in this game. Most Roblox games aren't like that. Most Roblox games, you have to actually hit the brakes to spin out, but not here. Yeah, this is definitely a big map. There are a lot of wide open roads here. But what's that guy driving? You wanna race, bro? You wanna race? Alright, we can race. See ya. That was easy. Looks like they've got a water park and a lot of stuff. This game is definitely something that demands future content. I'm not going to be able to cover anywhere near everything in this one video. Oh, it also tells you PSI. I just realized we've got a boost gauge as well. There is just so much of this map to check out. Like, when I first started playing Ultimate Driving Westover, I thought the map was absolutely huge until I got to know it and I realized how easy that map was to navigate and its true size, which isn't honestly that big. I wonder if we can get, like, loans or anything at the bank. Oh, they have the automatic tellers where you can just drive through with your car. That's cool. I want to go in and see, like, an actual teller, though. Okay, the bank's not as exciting as I was hoping here. It looks like there's really nothing we can do in here. Alright, so to go ahead and finish it off, guys, I want to go ahead and look at some of our jobs. So the apartment concierge, I think we've already been there. The cafe worker. Let's take a look at the cafe. Alright, this looks like it's a Starbucks, so basically a knockoff of Starbucks for this game. This looks like a pretty cool cafe right here. I'm liking this. This definitely looks like a Starbucks would. Let's keep on looking here. We have a criminal. That would be fun. Oh, the criminals get like their own hideout. That seems pretty neat. I see a case of ammunition right over there, so you can probably have weapons as a criminal. Dealership employee, we've already been to the dealership. Fintech, I'm guessing this is like... Oh, this is like... What would this be? This would be like the in-game version of Microsoft, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, they've got a big building and everything. Yeah, Fintech is kind of like the office company. McBloxers, this is just the Mickey D's in this game. Oops, I haven't looked inside. Yep, this definitely looks like a McDonald's, that's for sure. Mirage, we've been to. Police. Police job seems pretty cool. I'm really liking these uniforms. This is a really cool uniform setup. I like this. Right here, we've got our Glock 17. Definitely a great pistol. Radar gun. And then a cone placer so you can place your cones. Very cool. Got our radio you can hear. This is a totally official looking cop outfit. I like this. I like this. Police belt and everything. RW Bank. Here we go. We've already been to this bank. Not much to say about the bank here. Rift Driver. I'm guessing this is the racetrack. Yep, this would be for the track right over here. What is Stud Rack? Stud Rack is the gas station. Unemployed. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is going to be like a CVS pharmacy. Yep, this looks just like a CVS. I love these knockoff names in the game. They are so hilarious. And awesome. I'm really, really liking it. CVS Pharmacy definitely looks like a CVS. That's pretty much all there is to say about it. Seaside Bar and Grill. That would be like a fish and chips place. Yes, it would. Really cool. Looks pretty neat in there. Bublix. Let's see what this is. Okay, what is this? Food and Pharmacy. I'm guessing this would be kind of like a, kind of like a Fraser Farms. Kind of a place where you can get like your your kind of your health foods kind of a place and then you can also get interesting meditation meals here that's what i think about when i think of a place like this hospital worker they actually have a hospital there that seems pretty neat this looks pretty cool they've got a full-on hospital building they definitely spent a lot of time on this model we've got a firefighter again pretty self-explanatory job and then sheriff what's the difference between sheriff and police i guess that's a game pass because i was able to be a cop earlier so i don't know what the difference there is 
paramedic seems pretty cool pretty much a first responder again loving these uniforms they've got dip in donuts this one i really want to see oh yeah this is like this is definitely this like the duncans right here this is pretty cool now this is just like duncan this reminds me of duncan donuts pretty neat darn these donuts are making me so hungry these glazed donuts oh we can eat them too and then lastly, we have Auto Mart. I'm guessing this is like their Auto Zone right here. Yep, I guessed it. This is their Auto Zone. And this looks just like an Auto Zone. Pretty cool, guys. Very realistic. All right, guys. So it's pretty much time to end off our video for today. If you guys want to see more of this game, let me know. I would love to make more content on this, and I probably will. And I did notice a little something here, which is that they already gave us a couple cars that we already had. The mazda 3 i actually don't know what this vehicle is i also like this interface for spawning they've also given us a sedan which will be a camry right there camry is definitely a good sedan you see a lot of people driving these camrys even the sound on the camry this sounds just right like this sounds just like a four-cylinder camry this they even got the sound on cars like the camry spot on i'm really liking that attention to detail Alright guys, that's going to sum it up for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed me checking out Southwest Florida. This game's in beta and it's pretty evident when playing it, but nonetheless, this game has a massive potential. I really love this map. I love all the fake names for the businesses and the cars. The developers are very talented people with big imaginations and I love that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me check out this game. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of this game, let me know and I'll gladly make more content on it. It's probably going to become one of my personal favorites. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. Goodbye everyone. It sounds like it's a driver game similar to vehicle. Here we are at Sparrow Mortos. Here we are at Sparrow Mortos. That seems pretty cool. This definitely thinks of that torque number. That it does, however. Dang it! What did I just do? What is this building? See, this is totally like where I would want to live right here. How do I actually get in? I want to get into this place. Dang it! I guess we can't. Oh, I thought this was like one house, but it's actually like a whole apartment building. Never mind, I wouldn't want to live there. Like, when I first started playing Ultimate Driving, I thought the back... There are a lot of other Ultimate Driving maps, but... There are a lot of old... What is it? I'm recording. Yes. Alright, guys, I really hope that you...